Hello. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Hold on just a second. I'm going to go get something real quick. I'm back. Um, let's see. I just want to put my laptop on a case there so that it doesn't, I've noticed that sometimes it um, reverberates. Hi, Anicia. Hello, everyone. Um, how's everyone doing? Um, I'm so excited. Hi, Lil Edie. Hmm, hello. Um, it's me. Welcome to Grey Gardens. Uh, so is the connection good? I moved, um, I moved back into the dining room slash sewing room slash filming studio because, um, well, it's a long story. It's probably a boring story. Um, it's good connection. Okay, good. Um, because I have a little thread. Um, I've been working here today. Um, you guys might have noticed my recurring arm issue. And I think it's from just working at home now. I've been like typing in bed, typing on the couch. I haven't been like sitting at a desk anymore. So I think that's why my arm is giving me so much trouble. And so I was like, I'm gonna sit at my sewing table, put my laptop on here and sit like a normal person at a job and hope that that alleviates my arm pain. So I've been set up working here today and I thought this would be a good place to do the hair as well. So oh, that was a boring story, wasn't it? Um, so you like my dress? Thank you. So I, um, aging is not for the weak of heart, I know. <laughs> Poor me. Poor me. Um, so this dress, um, I haven't worn, I've only worn it once and I made it specifically for Dapper Day probably two years ago, the one in Orlando. And I just felt like it had such a good Disney vibe to it. So um, this is the night and day dress with the square collar, mitered collar and the three quarter length sleeves. Hello, Malisha. Everyone say hi, Malisha. She's been hard at work today. Um, we moved um, we moved the shipping operation to Malisha's house. So orders are going out today. Thank you, Malisha. So you might have got you might have gotten some, I saw someone say they got a shipping notification. That is thanks to Malisha um, helping us stay on top of shipping. So um I feel like as long as um, <laughs> everyone's saying hi, Alicia. As long as um, the postal service can keep up with us, um, our shipping times are going to be really good now and a lot better <laughs> than the last couple of weeks. So, um, thank you for bearing with me while we figured out what to do about all that. Details on my fingernails. Oh gosh. Well, right now, I, well, I have acrylics, and right now they are quite grown out um, because obviously I have not been to a nail salon in quite a while. But I did just order, um, I ordered some supplies to try to do my own fill at home here. So wish me luck with that. I will let you know how it goes. Um, shipping times on the PDFs have been excellent. <laughs> yeah, really. And PDFs are still 15% off, everyone, just to encourage you to stay home and sew. Um, use use the discount code stay home and sew, um, all spelled out. Um, Dapper Day. Um, yeah, Michael, um, you have to come join us sometime. Um, what's everyone, what's, what's going on? Oh, elastic. Yeah. So elastic is now going to be a major shortage. So, um, I've actually been thinking about ways that we can adapt the Rita without elastic and I have some good ideas. So, um, stay tuned for that. Um, did I pattern match this dress? No, I didn't. Um, only because, you know, Oh gosh, it looks like I did here, didn't? But you can tell it's like slightly off. I didn't because like all over dot patterns, I feel like you just don't really need to generally pattern match 
Um, this one's very scattered, so I didn't even really look at the placement, but um, I would say if you have like a very even polka dot and you have like princess seams or something like that, you wanna look at where the dots are aligning on the seams, particularly over the bust. So I will just say that about polka dots. Um, let's see. Um, you dead serious. Um, take elastic out of your old fitted sheets. That's a great tip, Amy. Um, <laughs> low stocks of glue stick. Do you have tape? You can always tape it together. Um, today's lipstick. It's my favorite. Um, dose of colors, kiss of fire. I wear it almost every day. Um, so what else did I want to tell you? Um, oh, eyeshadow is the toasted palette again. I went very neutral and restrained today. Um, you'd love to, Bonnie, you'd love to see it with a sailor back. I mean, I'd love to see anything with a sailor back. I did do a variation on this night and day dress in the pattern that has sort of like a nautical stripe on it, the red with the white um, ribbon trim. So you can definitely do a sailor vibe with this collar. Um, yay. So this is fun. Um, I am so glad that we're doing this. Um, I also wanted to say, guys, that um, if you didn't join me for the test that we did on Crowdcast yesterday, um, it was really fun. We learned a lot. Uh, we had Christine come up and join me, Christine Smith. Um, she came up and joined me and said hi so I can have people from the audience come join me on screen and that's really fun. We also did a poll. We did peach versus blue. You guys remember that fabric I was talking about yesterday um, and blue won and the poll was really exciting because we were watching it like in live time. It was like watching a horse race or something. Um, so let's see. And then the other, so we I tried to do a screen share and to stream something for you guys to watch with me and it did not work well so that was a thumbs down on that but today if you guys are available let's do another test after this and I downloaded something I downloaded an episode of Christine McConnell's show that we could um, try to stream together and not stream to play, I'll play it for you and we'll see if we can have a discussion that way. And I would say if all of this fails, like the other thing we can do is we can just have like a movie club, you know, where um, we all watch the same movie one week and then we'll come together to discuss it. Like, let's just, I think Crowdcast is a nice platform. I don't know if it's necessarily gonna work for showing movies all together. So if we can't make it work for what we wanna do with the webcam and chat function and streaming function all in one, um, let's just simplify it, call it like a movie club, and then we'll just, we'll just have a discussion. Um, so it's not a different app, it's a website, it's called Crowdcast. And at the end of this live stream, I will share in the chat the link to today's test. Um, you like the idea of a movie club? I mean, then we could just kind of watch it at our own leisure, you know? Leisure, do you like how I said that, all fancy? Um, hello, hello. Um, there's not a YouTube video on the night and day dress, but that's something that, um, I've certainly been thinking of now that we're doing a lot more YouTube content. It does have 72 options in the pattern. So I would have to think about ways, ways to show it. But, um, okay, let's see. You, okay, you sent me a DM with another app option to try. All right, I'll go through my DMs and, um, and look for it. Um, let's see, I saw some questions. Uh, is Dose of Colors drying at all? I don't find it drying. I I have like really nothing bad to say about this lipstick and I am very critical of lipstick. So, um, and I've now been testing this for what, two, three weeks. So um, I feel really good about it. Uh, 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 okay, what else? Um, I saw I saw a question. Um, oh, well, um, <laughs> movie club, thumbs up. <laughs> All right. My eye, my eyeliner, it's on point. Thank you, everyone. Um, you like my polka dot address? Thank you. 
so yeah, I haven't, like I said, I haven't worn this since Dapper Day because um, it just feels so like Mary Poppins. This, it was like sort of Mary Poppins fantasy I had. I did a little corset, um, like a little waist cincher kind of thing in yellow cotton twill that goes over it. And I had like a little yellow parasol. It was pretty much the cutest thing ever. Oh, and this cute little yellow hat. Um, and there was a little girl, I have like the cutest picture from that day because this little girl came up to me and she wanted a picture with me because she liked my outfit. And she was so cute. She like leaned up to me like this and then she did this little like crooked smile. She was like, like that. Oh my God, my heart. Um, so I posted that on Instagram with her parents' permission, of course. And yeah, let me see if I can find it. Um, and I'll put it in my stories tonight because it is like the cutest picture in the world. My favorite picture from Dapper Day, hands down. Um, okay, so let's see. This, um, let's see, this fabric was from Mood, by the way. It's like a poplin. All right. So everyone, shall we get started with the hair? Um, so today, as I mentioned, we're going to do a hairstyle like I've been wearing lately on the live streams, the parted in the center, um, waves and combs back on each side. So very like Judy Garland, Vivian Lee. Um, yeah, Michael, come on to Instagram. You, you'll love it. Um, so yeah, it, this is a simple hairdo. I feel like it is because it's, it's not fussy. That's what I really like about it. It's like not, you know, when you see in my, um, like I have some photos with really polished hair and that was done by Missy of hairstyling by Melissa. She's a genius. Um, she makes these beautiful sculptural waves and page boys. And I really feel like I can try to emulate as, that as much as possible, but I'm never going to get that super polished look that she can get um, because she's a hairstyling genius. I love this hairdo because I don't even have to try. Like it just needs to be fluffy and you don't want it to look super sculptural. Like it's not meant to be that. So let's just talk, let's talk about how I set it. Um, these are pillow rollers. So the white rollers around the sides these are pillow rollers. And um, so I think, you know, one of the great things about this hairdo is you don't need a lot of rollers too. You can do pretty big sections of hair. Um, and I don't put any on like the crown of my head, mostly out of laziness and also because it's easier to sleep that way. Um, and also because this style doesn't really need it. Um, so yeah, so just do the curlers in like a crown around here, all the way around your head. And then on top, I do two, so part your hair in the middle and do two Velcro rollers. So these are medium size Velcro rollers and held in place with a bobby pin. And then the whole thing has a tulle scarf on top, just tied at the top. Okay, and I slept in this last night. So normally I would take my curlers out before 5 p.m., obviously. So it might be a little curlier than it usually is today because it's set for longer and it hasn't been down all day relaxing. So just heads up. Okay, so when I put my hair into rollers, I use um, a spray. I'll use a one-to-one -one mixture of Lotta Body. Um, which is this concentrated setting lotion. So, um, no, I don't do wet hair. I do damp hair. Um, oh my gosh, my niece is here. Hi, Claudia. How are you? Guys, my niece is Claudia and um, she's seven years old and she said she might join us today. So, Claudia, I'm so happy you joined us today. Um, and I hope you had a good day at school today. All right. Um, okay. I'm so pleased you're here, Claudia. All right. Back to hair. Okay. So questions. Um, uh, yeah, everyone say hi to Claudia. Um, so my hair does not get wet. I don't get my hair wet rather. Um, I just spritz it and then brush through until it's damp. 
Um, you don't want it to be wet because then it will never dry by the morning. Oh, everyone's saying hi to you, Claudia. That's so nice. Um, so just get it um, damp, all right? And if you feel like you've gotten it too wet, you can correct your course by blow drying it a little bit, okay? Because if it's wet in the morning, your curls will fall right out. So just be really careful about that. Um, oh, <laughs> Claudia, Grammy's here too, and she's saying hi, and she loves you. Uh, so Patty's my mom, and Claudia is my niece, everyone. <laughs> um, okay, so questions. Oh, so I do one-to-one -one ratio. So half lot of body, half water. Okay. Um, I find them comfortable to sleep in much better than other um, types of rollers. Um, family gathering. <laughs> yeah, no swearing, everyone. Um, <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. We had a little family dinner last night too. Well, I wasn't eating dinner. Mom wasn't eating dinner, but the kids and my brother and my sister-in-law were, were all eating dinner and we just kind of joined them to like have a little family gathering on Zoom. So that was cute. Um, okay, so setting spray, we talked about that. Um, they're comfortable to sleep in. Um, direction of curlers, okay. Um, they don't get crunchy, um, because I am going to brush the whole thing out. Okay. Um, all right. So let's talk about the direction that I set them in. Claudia, what do you think of my look with my rollers? I remember one time when we were visiting Grammy, I came out with all my rollers in and you and Andrew were laughing hilarious, hysterically at me. Um, Okay, so the direction of the curls is that I curl them all under. Okay, so I'm going to take them all out and you can kind of see how they went in. So see how it's curled under like that. So when you put when you put the curler in, just get brush your hair straight and then wrap it around the bottom and then curl from the bottom up like that. And then you bend the curlers in like that. All right. Cause they're little wires that grow through that go through the center. Okay. Um, so there we go. So I'm going to take these all out. Yeah, these are pillow rollers or soft curlers. I think Conair calls them, whoever makes these these days. So I don't use that many. That's like the entire side of my hair. And I only used five rollers. Shot, they aren't pink. Why are they white? Who wants, who wants white pillow rollers? These are terrible quality too, by the way. I always tell people that, um, you know, you just have to kind of deal with it unless you want to make your own, which I've seen people do. Yours are pink from Amazon. I'm so jealous. They make pink ones. You got them from Ulta. All right. This is good to know everyone. Leopard spot, oh my God, everyone has cooler pillow rollers than me. Do I twist my, no, I don't twist. Just keep it real straight, brush it, and then just curl it under, okay? So don't twist, because that will give you like kinkier, um, more um, crazy curls. Hi, Trisha. thanks for joining. All right, so that's all the curlers taken out from the sides. All right, so those were the pillow rollers. And now I'm gonna take out the Velcro rollers. So I have pins in them to hold them in place. Okay, so, hmm. 
Ooh la la. Um, so looking fabulous. Um, so this actually could be a very cool like jean tyranny kind of thing. The center part with the sort of like swoop on each side if you like sculpted those waves. Um, but we're not doing that today. We're just brushing out. So I'm just going to kind of brush out and I like to like brush under here. Is my hair naturally dark? Yes, this is my natural color. Though I feel like, depending on the light, I look like Cha-Cha from Greece. I know it does have a very like Spanish rose sort of look to it with the center part and the waves. Um, I'm a liar. Guys, we gotta get Rob out of here. I don't know who that is. Um, so the one bummer about getting more people into these lives is I feel like we are getting these like, no offense men, but like men in here, remove, um, put user in timeout. Um, that's all I really know how to do. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I've been, feel I feel like we've been getting a little, um, some undesirables in the chats lately. Some ruffians, some hoodlums. Um, bye, Rob. Goodbye, Rob. He's in timeout currently, so I, I still haven't quite figured out how to block people. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Michael, yeah, I know. No offense, Michael. But, um, but there are some undesirables. Um, <laughs> goons and bots yeah um yeah they're probably not even actually men they're just bots um goodbye to <laughs> okay so just keep brushing brushing brush under leather pants there was leather pants guy and then there was um maxi skirt guy yesterday i'm like what a thing to have a a um a thing for um maxi skirts um street rats my hair is amazing <laughs> um yes ruffians hoodlums undesirables leather pants guy was slightly funny it was, I missed a lot of it and that was just funny to see all of you saying, okay, enough of the leather pants. <laughs> you hovered on his message and it offered block as an option. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I see like remove comment and I see um, put him in timeout. Hopefully he's in his little naughty corner right now. So hopefully when he comes back, he'll actually, he'll hopefully he'll just leave. So I'm using a Mason Pearson brush. Um, so these are quite expensive. They last forever. I've been using this one for, I don't know, 12, 13 years now. And it's great. Um, so, oh, the last time you asked about the cheaper brush option, there's one from Sally's that looks similar and is my favorite, under $20. Is it a Denman by any chance? A lot of people really like the Denman ones. Um, all right, guys, so you just want to get it like nice and smooth. You miss leather pants, guy. <laughs> it was a moment. So just get it smooth. Huh. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling very like West Side Story right now. Um, what's the name of my brush? It's a Mason Pearson Popular. Um, yeah, these are lovely. Um, okay. So I'm going to make sure that my part is looking good. You want your part to be nice and nice and tidy. So yeah, this is a fun look just on its own, right? Just center part. Oh, I didn't mention my haircut at all. I have shorter bang. I mean, not shorter, but they, they're like about chin length. I feel pretty. Yeah, so just about chin length with the bangs. Um, 
and yeah, you could just do like a really pretty like Spanish rose kind of thing right now. Done, done and done. Um, but what we're gonna do instead is do some combs, okay? So these are by a company called um, Grip Tooth. I thought it was Grip Tooth because it's spelled T-U-T-H. But someone in the um, in the comments the other day said it's pronounced Grip Tooth. So I was like, well, that sounds better. That sounds that sounds reasonable. Um, so. These guys are real proud of their combs. Um, the original grip tooth hair won't slip out. Handcrafted in USA, touching teeth for better hair holding. Um, grip tooth holds the best. Good hair days. Um, grip, uh, good hair days, grip tooth hair tainer side combs are designed to hold hair securely and comfortable, they, comfortably. They are the only side combs with touching teeth that gently grip and securely hold all hair types, especially fine and hard to manage hair. When you insert the side comb, your hair gets locked in above the touching teeth and can't slip past them. The side comb stays put. Your hairstyle lasts all day. Grip tooth side combs come in a variety of sizes. One is sure to fit your individual needs. Um, don't, I'm sorry, I have to read the whole thing because I just love it. Um, don't tolerate inferior imitations. The space between their teeth lets your hair slide out strand by strand. Their side comb falls out repeatedly. What a hassle. Only Good Hair Days gives you the grip tooth grip. Look for the rope design across the top of our side combs. Ding. Um, <laughs> someone really believes in their, pro their product. Yes, they love their combs. And I gotta say, they're right. I have used the, um, the goody hair combs that you can get, you know, really at any drugstore. Um, and it's true, your hair will slip out because their teeth don't touch, all right? It's the touching teeth that make the difference. Um, yeah, they love what they do. So um, I ordered my, they do have them on Amazon. The wait times right now are very long. Um, I just got some more, because I've been doing this hairstyle so much and I only had the goodie combs, I just got some more from Vermont Country Store, which is an, another amazing website. If you guys um, feel like doing some online browsing today, they sell like flannel nightgowns and um, chenille curtains and just old lady things like the things I love. So you can get your hair, your, um, your hair combs there and they're shipping right now. That was a very dramatic reading. Yes. Hmm. I like to bring the drama. Okay, everyone. So you're just going to take this section above your ear. So just kind of section off a little bit like that. And you're going to twist it. All right. So just give it one little twist. Take a hair comb and slide it in like that, so the teeth are facing forward and slide it underneath like that. And then you can like lift this up a little bit to get a little more height, because I feel like that gives you like a very um, 40s look is to have that height on each side. Okay, and, um, um, and so I'm gonna brush out the bottom again, because you'll see it's gotten a little frizzy. All right, so there's one side. And then same thing on the other side. So just grab the hair, you're gonna kind of above the ear like that, get it nice and clean. Um, take this section, give it one twist. So I'm twisting to the back. Like that. Take your second comb, and again, the teeth are going forward like that. I mean, I don't know how else you would put them in, but I don't know. I like to over explain things. You guys know that. Um, so from the back and just shove it in underneath the twist like that. And again, you can kind of like 
pull it up a little bit, like loosen it from the comb a little bit to get a little height. So you want that sort of like crown shape, like heart shape almost. Okay, and so now you can just smooth the whole thing. Yeah, it's really simple. <laughs> Did you like how I made it like a half hour long tutorial? So yeah, you can just kind of smooth that out. All my beauty secrets. Yeah, just make sure it's smooth at the bottom. And I like to kind of brush under. How are we feeling? Can you see? I feel like um, you can use pomade, pomade, to smooth it down a little now. I'm trying to use less product right now because um, I just feel like, well, I'm just kind of hanging around my house. Like, what's the point? But yeah, you could definitely get a little pomade on your hand and just kind of smooth through. Um, and the one thing I do want to show you, can you guys see this wave, right? Can you see all my grays? Can you see this wave right here? That's like what you're going for. Um, and that's why we curled, why we put those two Velcro rollers right there. Um, so just like a nice, it's going kind of like whoosh, like that. Okay. So that's why you want to curl it in the front because that will help you get that like very vintage wave. Um, these combs are two and three quarters. Oh, hmm. um, you think I have a nice jawline? Guys, I'm blushing. All right, so probably the last thing I would do now is just give it a light spray. Um, I So during my home confinement, I have been using this Kenra light hold hairspray. Smells like cotton candy, very light, doesn't build up gunk in your hair at all. Um, so I would just do like a little at the top to kind of smooth down any flyaways. Same on the sides. And then you can just kind of smooth, smooth under. Hmm. I'm not going to use a ton. Like I said, I've been trying to like cut down on products while I'm home. But yeah, very Judy. Um, should we talk about um, accoutrement for your hair now? So obviously you need earrings, right? Um you don't want to do your hair and then not wear cute earrings. <laughs> I'm going to build an empire off of these tutorial videos. Um, I, apparently, it would help if I could put on earrings on webcam. That's not a skill I have. Um, <laughs> I will say you guys should tell YouTube um, that you, if you're enjoying this because they're doing a little thing um, like hashtag with me um, and like bake with me, craft with me. And you can tell them right now they have a little um, thing that you can screenshot and tell them who your favorite creators are right now. So, you know, you can mention me if you want. Preen with me. Hashtag preen with me, preen with me, pose with me. Oh my gosh, you guys, do you know, do you know what I realized last night as I was trying to fall asleep? We did three posing workshops. You know what we did not do? Posing in pants. Why didn't we even think of it? We need to do that. We need to do like Jane set. Oh, gosh, I got the earrings in. We need to do Jane set posing. Preen with me. Pose with me. Hashtag. Hashtag preen with me. Um, what do you guys think about posing in pants? Do I even wear pants? <laughs> posing in sweatpants? <laughs> None of us wears pants. <laughs> what about a little capri? 
a cute Capri, a Jane set. Um, see me at Nashville Boogie if it doesn't get canceled. <laughs> Maybe one day. All right. Um, you just saw an old video of me and Levi's. Yeah, see, it happens. Um, preen with me. Pants time. Pants po One person wants pants posing. We do oh, Bonnie wants it too. Posing in leather pants. Oh my gosh, you guys. We could do posing in shorts. Um, posing videos are the best because it just brings out a lot of other silliness for all of us. So just let me do it, okay? Um, so we're gonna be talking about accoutrements for your um, side comb hairstyle. So you could do, it's nice to put flowers behind where the combs are, okay? So like my comb is here um, and then your flower is gonna go behind the little like bump right here, okay? So that's how you could do one flower. You could do it on either side, right? But this hairstyle kind of screams, give me two flowers. All right, so um, you can get matching hair flowers. I, for some, every set of my matching hair flowers has somehow gotten separated. They're like socks, except for these two, but they look cute with my dress. So you could do something like this, one on each side is really cute. Um, you can do it a little higher up. Ooh, oh, you can do it a little lower. Oh, sultry. Um, I do not make my flowers. I support, <laughs> I support independent flower makers like um, La, Casa, La Casa de Flores. She makes great flowers. Um, this one is by Pin Up Curl, also very beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys. Another one by Casa de, Casa, Ca, La Casa de Flores, sorry. Guys. She goes to Dapper Day too, to the expo. Look at these. Oh my God. Are we feeling this fantasy? I know it doesn't match my dress, but I bought these and I've never actually worn them. <gasps> Guys. Oh, yes. Yes. How cute are these? So that's fun. You can't find La, La Casa de Flores. I don't know, she's on Etsy. I would um, I would Google search it and see if it will bring you to Etsy. I find it really hard to search anything on Etsy. Will I be going to Dapper Days at Disneyland in June if it happens? We'll see, I mean. I, did, I hadn't planned on going this year. I hadn't planned on going anywhere this year, which is kind of handy because now we're all confined to our houses. Um, it's a store on Etsy. Um, but I don't know, if June comes around and we're allowed to leave our houses, I might be so ready to go somewhere that I might say, yeah, let's go to California. Um, though, I don't know, probably not because if we're going anywhere, mom, we're going to, we're going on our trip in July. I don't know, you need a better look at them. Um, I'm obsessed with my look right now. So I don't know how you found it. Um, it's La Casa de Flores. Okay. Um, I'm feeling myself in these flowers. Um, so the other thing you can do is add a hat. Okay. So this hairstyle is obviously fabulous with a tilted back sun hat like this, all right? So it would be nice, it would be better to have one that would pin on behind your flowers like this. Um, perfect for my blue brocade dress, brocade dress brocade. Um, yeah, so that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> it's a term, it's a term. I'm feeling myself, I'm enjoying myself. Um, I'm loving my look, loving my life, feeling the glamour. <laughs> feeling the fantasy. Um, so yeah, what do we think? It's a look. So Judy Garland, right? 
Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, that's, that's today's tutorial. How would I pin this hat on my head? You could do, um, this one has these nice little, um, openings here. So I could tuck this in or I could take the ribbon out and pin it with bobby pins. Um, but hat pins would be even better because they're decorative and, and don't, and don't show. So, um, I mean, they do show, but they're decorative. <laughs> so it doesn't matter that they're showing. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's very hard to search for uh, shops on Etsy. All right, everyone. Um, my hat is also from Etsy. It's vintage. Um, Marin made it. Hi, Marin. We missed you. Um, the look is finished. The look is, I mean, I think it's fabulous. I think I'm the only one kind of talking it up, but um, I stand by it. <laughs> You're going to cosplay as me in this look. Um, I have done some millinery and hat making. I actually took like three millinery courses at FIT. So um, I feel like I, I explored that to the fullest extent that I plan to. Um, Preen with Gertie. <laughs> this is a new book, including posing, hair, and makeup tutorials. <laughs> um, mm, I don't want to go down too far the rabbit hole. I need to do more sewing <laughs> tutorials, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, someone wrote to me on Patreon the other day, and they said, um, are you going to do sewing tutorials? I think she just couldn't find the sewing tutorials, to be fair, like in her defense. Um, but yeah, she was like, are you just doing hair and makeup here? And I was like, no. <laughs> No, this is still a sewing thing. Um, this is a sewing thing. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'm, I'm enjoying doing more hair and makeup though. And you guys seem to be, be enjoying it as well. So um, we'll do a little mix. Um, I would like to, actually, I was thinking guys, um, should we do another Zoom this week? Like a Zoom sewing circle? Um, maybe for, we'll do all Patre Patreon tiers this time and try to open it up a little bit further and see how it goes. Um, you can't sew all the time. It's true. Plus you have to have looks to go with your outfits. Um, so how did we like that 6 PM time on Wednesday? Or maybe we should say 630 on Wednesday. Um, let me think about it and I will put up a Patreon post. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Okay. You guys are all ready to go, ready to, to go zoom again. Great. The other thing that I was thinking about is our Aries birthday party. Um, I was thinking next. Okay. So not guys, what day is it? Um, let's see. So not this Friday, but next Friday is April 10th. Would you like to have a party with me? That's a Friday evening. I thought we could do like seven or something like that. Um, we'll figure it out, but that will be next week. Um, we could do a little sewing birthday party. I thought we could make it a pajama theme so we could all wear our pajamas and um, I thought we could do a giveaway. I have some fabrics that you all might be interested in. We can do giveaways for the birthday girls and for no idea what day it is. OK, it's OK. It's a week from Friday, April 10th. We could do giveaways. Um, we could all bring like you could all just bring something fabulous to eat or drink for yourself. Um, it'll be a potluck. <laughs> And um, it'll be really fun. Um, I think that will be great. And so we can sew and we'll just do it like a regular Zoom sewing circle, but we'll have some uh, treats, treats and presents. <laughs> yeah, but wear fabulous PJs, you know, like like this, but like get get dolled up and wear like a vintage nightgown or that's probably what I'm going to wear. Um, or make some PJs between now and then. <laughs> um, yeah, see, um, Sarah's turning 29 on Sunday. Um, Rebecca is um, 
Rebecca is turning 60 on Friday. Amazing. Um, so yeah, um, we can have some fun and, um, yeah, get sewing, get sewing those PJs. You know what I was thinking about doing, um, is doing a little Rita top for PJs or like a little baby doll Rita, something like that would be really cute. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm warning you. I'm I'm, let, I'm giving you guys plenty of warning. All right, everyone. Um, so let's see. Should we head over to Crowdcast and give it a try? Um, yeah, I think it'll be really fun. Yeah, wear a popover without a belt. It'll be really cute and fun. Um, okay, guys, so I am going to give you guys, oh boy, Professor Hamster, do you need to go into timeout? Um, yep, yeah. okay, there we go. All right, everyone, I'm going to give you guys the, um, the URL for the Crowdcast. And nope, that's not it. I don't know why I have so much trouble copying and pasting things on this computer. Control C. What? Control V. It worked. So there is the link. So head on over there if you want to help me test this. Not mandatory testing, everyone. It is optional. I just need a handful of people to help me out. And um, we'll see, we'll do another test of our um, video screen sharing, okay? So thank you everyone who joined me here today. I hope you liked the hair tutorial. Um, as always, I will be back doing a live video. We'll do pants posing tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern, okay? All right, everyone. So I'm going to head out. Um, thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you so much for keeping me company, um, complimenting my jawline, all of that. You guys are the best. Shall we say goodbye? Goodbye. Ooh, double circular wave. Well, triple. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.